Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, and today we're going to be having Theories episode 21. And guys, we've all seen the latest episode about Violent Mage's face reveal. I'm sure everyone was shocked because all of our theories didn't even come to that. I mean, who would have thought about it? But guys, today we're going to just talk about everything that happened. And before I get into the mysterious stuff that happened in this latest episode, let me just give you a brief uh, kind of explanation of what happened in this episode. So this episode was all about Violet Mage's face reveal, and we all remember in the last one, Mal said she knows who Violet Mage is. And Mal later did reveal that she thought Violet Mage is one of the runaways. Right, that could be. I was like... When she said it, I was like, yeah, it could be one of the runaways. I mean, yeah, yeah. So, Mal was a, uh, telling Violet Mage that she knows her identity, but Violet Mage was acting all weird. And Violet Mage told Mal that she's not supposed to know her, her identity. And before Violet Mage could say why, Maleficent came in and poofed away with Violet Mage. Okay, guys, I will talk about this. It's one of the mysterious things that I find weird in this episode let's just move on so later mal came back to her friends came back to starlight and then they started getting reports of someone well violent mage i mean someone dressed in a purple cloak running around doing some crazy crimes stealing vandalism stuff like that and like they were like it couldn't be violent mage i mean violent mage was taken by maleficent and violent mage is good so Immediately, everyone knew that it was the imposter Violet Mage who's been running around saying stuff like that. Um, anyways, uh, the police came. I don't know if I'll call it the police or the magical police, but let's just go with the police. Anyways, the police came by Starlight and arrested Mal. I mean, uh, they thought that it was Mal who was committing the crime. So yeah, Mal was arrested and they had to get Mal back. And the only way to clear things is to, you know, get the fake Violet Mage to confess to her crimes of being the one to do it. And also they had to save the real Violet Mage from Maleficent so she'll help them. So yeah, they followed, well they went to the villain's lair and then they saw some breadcrumbs and followed it to the enchanted forest, aka the fairy tale forest. They met Little Red, they met Goldilocks, they met Jack from Jack and the Mean Stuff. Yeah, and that was that. They met people who are from, you know, fairy tales. And eventually Ben found out about everything and Ben helped Audrey and Jay to, you know, find out where find where to go eventually they had to go to Rapunzel's tower because uh evie jay carlos and audrey had to split up in twos so jay and audrey called ben and ben told them to go to rapunzel's tower and you know that's possibly where they would have kept violet mage and it was right but when everyone got there i mean evie and carlos found their way to the tower too so when everyone got there maleficent wasn't there with violet mage but instead jafar and jafar said maleficent sent him to stay here eventually they poofed jafar out and took the real violet mage to the uh police station i'm just calling that to the police station and they tried to you know get mal out by the help of the real violet mage but she had to reveal her face Oh, that's the only way for Mal to be released. And yeah, she did reveal her face. And we all know who it was. And I was so shocked. I never expected it to be that person. Like, what? So yeah, and the fake Violet Mage was never found. The imposter was never caught. The imposter is still running mild. But now that we have the brief explanation, <laughs> kind of took too long. Let's just get into our theories. Anyways, guys, so like I said, Maleficent showed up and poofed out with Violet Mage. So why this is mysterious and weird is, what was her plan? I mean, they never revealed what she really wanted to do with Violet Mage, but they said Violet Mage. I mean, what was her plan? And where did she have to be that she sent Jafar to, you know, stay with Violet Mage? Did she have to go somewhere? Did she leave for another scheme? Well, we'll never know. But Maleficent is a very sus character because, like, she she's so 
ununderstandable. I mean, I I don't know what to say about her, but I know her, her herself just her herself, she's just sus. Just a sus person being sus. Um, well, let's move on to the next theory. Well, like I said before, uh, they were getting reports about a cloaked person, someone that someone that wore a purple cloak doing bad things. I mean, yeah. And right, is this imposter violet mage person still roaming around? I mean, the last time you saw that person, the uh, he or uh, she, I'll go with she. She was was talking to CC King, and that's when we concluded that the imposter Valley Mage is working for CC King, and they had some kind of plan. But CC King was apparently destroyed in the Lucky Music Video episode. We don't, we're not really sure. I mean, they did promise us a face reveal, so I'm not sure. I don't think that the chaos screw, the whole chaos screw thing has ended. I think CC King is gonna make his comeback, maybe not very soon, but I don't believe that CC King was just defeated like that. I mean, what about the face reveal? You got our hopes up high. And also, CC King can't just be defeated like that. It's too easy. And then this imposter, Violet Mage, was working for CC King. But now that CC King is gone, who is she working for? And also, I mean, who sent her to do criminal things? I don't know about this imposter violent mage, but what I think is, this person is still working with CC King. And CC King is still coming back with his crew of chaos. Guys, tell me what you think in the comments. Well, guys, we recently found out the violent mage is future Mal. I mean, Mal from the future. That explains everything. That explains why Violet Mage always knows what to do, always knows when there's trouble, because Violet Mage is future Mal from the future, which means Violet Mage has gone through everything that Mal is going through now. The Queen of Snakes, that's how Violet Mage knew that there's a YouTube villain called the Queen of Snakes. That's how Violet Mage knew that there was trouble going on in the whole Rapunzel being akumatized episode and that's how Violet Mage knew what to do. That's how Violet Mage knew to call Ladybug I mean because Violet Mage has gone through it all Mal coming to Starlight Violet Mage has done it everything So that explains why Violet Mage is always one step ahead and everything Yeah, I would I, 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 I would have never thought of it. I mean, yeah, there there's there's a lot of things that could point you to saying that Violet Mage is Mal from the future, but it wouldn't make sense. It just didn't. I don't know. I couldn't have thought of it. I couldn't have made it a theory, but it is. It is what it is. So Violet Mage is future Mal. I was so shocked when she took her mask off and was like, it's me Mal. And Mal was like, how you? Like what? If I saw myself from the future, I would be like, Oh my god that's me like that's 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 me wow and there's no difference i mean future hearts should be a bit you know different but there's no difference who cares i mean violent mage future mal it's shocking but guys this is the end of uh, mysteries so yeah this is the last one and we just dealt with it so i guess let's just jump into the shout outs well guys, shout out to Smita, Karin, shout out to all of you, shout out to Princess Crystal Shine, shout out to Tamsin, and shout out to FC. So, um, guys, if you want a shout out, just tell me. I'll give you one. It's very simple. So if you want, you could just tell me and I'll give you a shout out. And you don't even have to ask me. Like, sometimes I just go to the comments and I'm like, I'll give this person a shout out in my next video. I just decide it. And yeah. That's how it's done. And if you want to ask me, you can go ahead. And if you're lucky and I end up picking you by myself, that's luck. Um, anyways, guys, thank you for joining me in this one. I'll see you in the next one. I love you guys so much. And I'll see you in my next theory video. Or any other video I make, which involves me <laughs> and my voice. Bye, guys. Hashtag Vicky Nation. Bye. Love you. Looks just like a city of blinding lights